everyone, this is Amir Reich here from Aminet Media and today I'm going to be showing you how to edit a static write-up, alright, a photo document to change maybe the words inside it so that you can replace those words with your own choice of words, maybe an old document which has been used in the past years and you want to change the date of the document to reuse it and you don't know how to do it so I'm going to show us how to do it right now this is a request made from one of the people following me in a WhatsApp group they requested that they want to know how to change the write-up in a photo document so that they can put their own words into it if this is what you want to learn let's get to it <laughs> I welcome back now I'm going to import some documents I believe you should have your document already uh, the document you want to change and uh, you should have it ready so what you do first is bring in the document into Corel draw once you've run your Corel draw so control I I'm going to import okay so I'm going to go to where I have the document you either do control I or you go to file and then look for imports let's try that out um, let's try that out go to imports all right click on import or you do control I so let's click on import now I have downloaded the document and I'm going to go to my downloads these are two photo documents that I downloaded not real documents actually but for the illustration sake so I'm going to drag them into this place Increase it. So we are going to start with the first one. So I see this one here. All right. If you look at this document, I actually downloaded it uh, with uh, the specification so that I know the font which the document is written in. If you look here, uh, because it's a picture, the resolution is low the resolution also matters here or it might not matter but you can still edit it because the resolution is low if I zoom in uh, I, it's because there's a picture it uh, starts breaking up like that okay so now why I downloaded this particular one so that you see the fonts which I used here it's very simple to do so that uh, when you want to edit your document you need to know the particular fonts that has been used or you search for a font that looks alike right so that when you edit it it's not that noticeable so I'm going to use this Arial or this Badana or Calibri whatever it's called there so if I let's see I'll go to my type 2 and type area Right, the word is on Arial on default. Is on Arial on default. Okay, I'm going to zoom in in here. Now, you see, I've added that Arial. Now I'm going to type in Calibre. Let me see if I have this Badana available. Okay, I'm going to search for it. For all right, I have it, but uh, nah, right here. Okay, so I'm going to type it. But uh, nah. great. So you see that? Actually, this is the fourth step. Okay, uh, this is the fourth step. You can use any other step you want, but I'm just doing this. There's something else I'm going to show you so that you know it makes it clean because if you look here this thing is not that clean all right you're still seeing the one at the back so that the second thing we're going to do with this very essential one but first we're going to do this Calibri okay all right uh, instead of doing the Calibri uh, I mean just leave the Calibri and move into the next thing now how do I cover this place up so that it doesn't show up? Okay, now I'm going to remove. Okay, first of all, I'm going to choose my drawing tool, rectangle drawing tool, and I'm going to draw a rectangle over, over this. I'm going to draw a rectangle over this, move it back, 
control H down, move it back. Let me feel that color. You can feel it with any color at first. Okay, it doesn't matter. Now, what else do you do? Let me remove the outline because you don't want to be seeing the outline. Now, I'm going to change this color to this document color, right? That's what I'm going to do now. Go back to my pick tool. Mm. What you do is choose the eyedropper tool. Where is it? This is the eye. No, that's not it. This is the eyedropper tool. Now, I want to change the color of this yellow, all right, the, the box that I put behind this to this document color so that it's not noticeable. What is What I do is, after choosing the eyedropper tool, I select the color. Then, pour it. You see, you see a bucket-like uh, icon there. My, my cursor has changed to a uh, bucket-like or paint-like color. So, I click on it. Once I click on it, boom, it disappears. <laughs> Automatically, we have edited this image. We have the, edited this document, all right? So, uh, uh, um, and we have made the color disappear. It's now like a new document. You uh, you can't see where I edited. Can you see? Hit my space bar to go back to the big two. So, that is it, all right? But remember, you wanted to choose the color too, right? Now, this is the color. We're going to go back to the eyedrop tool. I hit my space bar to pick the eyedrop tool. I want to copy this font. This is the color they use for the Arial, I think so. Uh, let me go back and check it out because you need to know the color right here. So, uh, before you do this, let me undo that. Okay, I bring this down. Uh, change this color. This is the color of the area. I'm going to change it. To choose my eyedropper tool. Then pour it on the area. Bam. Now I'm going to bring this down. I know I know this video is getting so long already, so stay with me. I'm going to bring this down. Go back to my eyedropper tool. Space bar. Choose this color because that's the color. Pour it. Bam. You see that? see that so I'm going to go back align it well one take this one align it well too then go back here put back my whatever it is my triangle rectangle remove the color then go back to the eyedropper to select the background and pour it now you have it now you have it. That is how simple it is. We're going to do one more for this, uh, what's it called? Georgia. I don't know if I have Georgia. Luckily for me, it's, uh, it has a better resolution than the other ones. Okay? Okay. So you should make sure your document has better resolutions for better results. Okay. So we're going to go back to the peak two. Let's um, write the Georgia. your here yeah. good now we're going to I'll go back to my big two change this to Georgia let's check it out George uh, how I can I spell that Georgia good now select it then come back here all right, it has changed to Georgia. Cool. Let me bring this up a little bit, like this. Uh, uh huh. Then I'm going to drag it. First of all, let's use uh, do the eyedropper two magic. We choose the color, then we pour it on the new one. Uh, it poured on the outline. This that's not what we wanted. Uh, let me remove the outline so that you don't pour it there. But if the outline is showing a different color, you can still remove it or pour it all together. So that it uh, gives you what you want. I'm going back to my big tool. So adjust it. I'm adjusting it now. Bam. We have the Georgia replaced. <laughs> exactly. But we don't want to be seeing those crabs, you know, those lines uh, making it look like uh, making us um, feel too bad. You know, seeing that you edited it. 
you want to cover it like we did in the other one. So we're going to cover it. Bam. Change the color. Mm, you choose any color you want. But we let's choose the color stretch so that we don't start changing it. Well, let me do it uh, for the case of the study. Let me choose a different color. Uh, page down to bring this down. Okay, remove the outline. Good, so that you don't see a mess up there. Then we go to our eyedropper tool, select our color of our background uh, of the paper document and pour it. Bam! No one will ever notice that it was edited. Exactly. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you. If this video was helpful for you, please click on the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more cool videos. If you have a suggestion of something you want to do in Coral Draw that you want us to help you out achieve, we are right here to help you out. Do it so that you start doing your cool tricks in Coral Draw. And don't forget to hit the notification button to get notifications once we drop new cool videos for you to help you out in your graphic designing. See you in the next video, guys.